What's up guys? My name is Mad Squash 924 Welcome back to part 7 of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. And we are here in front of a club where apparently we have a decision to make of what we're going to be doing this weekend with one of these three, apparently. And as you know, we do acting here for our Let's Play, so we're going to try to do that for this. Um, as we said before, on the last episode, how on earth are they going to respond to a situation like that? A su suggestion, even. Ah, uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. I may not like to be around if only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard can it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for I to... What are you saying? It would, it would be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just, what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to I to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't gotten... He hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. I, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah, I see. Of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case... Everyone looks straight at me. But of course I'm going with... You can go with Natsuki, Yuri, Monica, or Sayori. Sayori's an option. That's strange. Well, let's see. How are we going to play this out? How do we want to play this out as me, as myself, and as this character in our heads? Well... I kind of have a sneaky suspicion we wouldn't be able to help Natsuki out that much. But I would like to help her out. And we haven't actually spent any time with Monica yet. It doesn't make sense to say Sayori since she left. And therefore, wouldn't she be confused and why we're at her house all of a sudden? And then there's Yuri, of course, who... We kind of know a bit about, but of course, there also seems to be something up there. At the end of the day, Monica is really weird, considering she broke the fourth wall at us earlier, and I don't particularly like that. And we kind of know Natsuki's deal, and Yuri seems to have got a lot going on, so we're gonna pick Yuri. Well, I'd probably be most useful helping out Yuri. M me? Are you serious? Why would you, Natsuki? I can already tell you're about to say something mean. No, I was just saying. Uh. So, you'll be helping Yuri then, I. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. Yeah, I figured you would. So I think your assistance would be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, you will be able to handle the baking yourself. I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay. Okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So is this... is that everything we need to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, I? Me? I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Hmm. Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No, that's not what I meant at all. Uh. Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. Uh, I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why I picked me. And 
Also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea, and nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um... Well, I'm the only one acting mature, I guess. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I, I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. But she already has trouble with words trying to cheer someone up. It must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Yut Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I could tell she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No, I, I kind of appreciate it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Oh, I believe you. Yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's something, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. All right, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out to the door as they chat between each other. Um... I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. Well, I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? Or... I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. You and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll stop by your house on Sunday. Huh? My house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Ah, oh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. Uh, uh, Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decided not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter either way. So I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I can manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, I. I think we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait a minute. You don't actually think that, do you? Mm -hmm. I, uh, I don't know. It's difficult, it's difficult to come up with any other reason that you may have chosen me. Well, you're forgetting the the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But, but... Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're... you're overthinking this, okay? You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Huh? I... I didn't realize. Like, I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me or not? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took a tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out of the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this! Yuri's going to be coming to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is the chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. And until then, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. It's already Sunday. I have been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. 
Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But, putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? Regardless, I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, but much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering myself. Again, we used to play sometimes, so often that we made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house, though, was quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor. So I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange for her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom, where I finally find her. S Sayori? Hi, I. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's... different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Ah, uh, I guess you're right. It's been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and the wall decorations that she had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. Well, that's because I ended up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but, uh... Wait, how did, how did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided to, that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, uh, that's, that's true. But, uh, what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course! But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, oh, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really, uh, uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just, uh, wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, uh... Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, I. Huh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings... If I didn't make that stupid mistake... Then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this... Uh, it's just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants you to torture me. <laughs> Sayori. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this, okay? So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, it gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, I. But... You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, I? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've really... I had a really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? 
Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. But what reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. As am I. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me just not to think about her? Why, Sayori? Huh? Why is it that you never told me about this? It almost feels like you've been I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little bit better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, I. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet. When people try to care about me, it feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bat wing, bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why... Well, that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right, I don't understand, okay? I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But... I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, I. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streak down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club? because I was selfish and I, was, and I punished my, by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand and now you're, you came here and I made you hurt too I'm just weak and selfish that's all I am and that's why I'm going to accept these punishments because I deserve every last one without thinking I once again Grab Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Uh, I? Sayori, I, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. I? Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. I... I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to know I care. You have it in you to call yourself selfish. And you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, I. 
The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary too. Sayori lets me go. And she does so. I let her go as well. Well, the festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like me for... How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, um... Uh... It's what I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sorry wipes her eyes. If I could spend a whole day here, I would. Of all days, this had to be the one where I have other plans. <laughs> Maybe I should just cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be a very good... Uh, that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over too, so... I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Uh, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Are you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. Uh, you could always have texted me. If I'd known, I would have uh, reassured you uh, and hurried more on my way home. Oh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decide to ignore it. Anyway, uh, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Uh, yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything out right. I'm sure it'll be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel, uh, anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so, uh, that's very considerate of you to do. Uh, no. I, I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah, that would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the pr process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? Ah, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know... Uh, mood lighting, aromatherapy, candles... Oh, uh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take care of our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. Well, that's great. It's easy to forget that you're... Uh, Pretty intense person. Ah, huh. 
Intent? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's just something that I like about you, actually. I is that so? That makes me feel... relieved. I'm kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. Well, I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Gary rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's that, uh, what's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this? Is it diffuser for essential oils? How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Uh, not familiar at all. Ah, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel its permacre... You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes the switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? Well, this is a jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it, I suppose. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that would be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable. But you seem to know a lot about this, so I, I'll trust your opinion with anything, I guess. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into a bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. Uh, what are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be rush we won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then, we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. Wow, that's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it me? Or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, I. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, alright. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. And she reaches into a bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Huh? A knife, it's... It's strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. Wow, that's no ordinary pocket knife. Looks really fancy. Ah, uh, uh, well... Embarrassed. Here he looks away. What is it? You want to think it's weird? Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out, yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe? Ooh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. 
You're laughing at you're laughing at me? No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's well, an interesting thing to be into, I suppose. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Hi! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah. Uh. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Uh. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Oh. Please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I, uh. Yuri lowers her head. Her face burning up. Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I... How could I do something like that? Oh, I didn't realize that was Yuri's line back there. Oops. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, sure, it was a little weird. And it took me by my surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. She doesn't lift her head. But if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon... Alright, you know what? This might be the stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and look her index finger in return. I? Did you really just do that? Ha, huh, now we're even. Yuri looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, I. Yuri giggles shyly. Huh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh, I don't think I need one, actually. That was a tiny cut. Look, it's already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. Attention is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Jerry's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. And I think that's a good spot where we can end today's episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode. If you guys did, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, tell me you guys think of today's episode. And if you're new to my channel or watch me for a little while and you haven't done so as of yet, you're interested in this let's play or myself, feel free to subscribe to me, Mad Squash 924 over on YouTube where my channel is right over there. And don't forget to ring the bell to get notified of my latest videos. On the next episode, we're going to be finishing up this weekend by hanging out with Yuri and getting ready for the festival that's going to be happening. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.